I am Radhi Shri Vengatraman, reading 120 words, English short and dictation. Okay, we can start. In the country, one of our greatest needs in the spread of education among our women. As a matter of fact, there is need for the expansion of education even among men. The condition of women education is, however, such that any attempt at its spread deserves help and encouragement from all quarters. It is therefore a matter for con congratulation that the efforts of those who started this college some years ago have been fulfilled. Beginning with 11, you have now something like 300 students receiving education in this college. But what I consider to be a most prominent feature of this college is the recognition of a separate course for women. We have sometimes misunderstood the difference between man and woman. We sometimes feel that there is no difference even though this would be against the order of nature. It is universally recognized that there is a certain sphere of work for which women alone are suited. There are other spheres in which women can compete with men and even excel them. Our institutions should therefore talk particular care of such spheres. I am glad that this college has been successful carrying on its work and is getting encouragement from the government as well as the public in its work. I have listened with great interest to the very excellent report about the work of the college which has been read and I am sure others must also have listened to it with equal interest. We find the activities of certain institutions are to some extent curtailed on account of lack of sufficient funds. In the midst of such difficulties, only a few of them can continue to work as this college has been doing. My own feeling is that, after all, an institution which carries on its work well somehow or other gets funds, and I hope that the requirements of this college will be met. The only thing that has to be done is to make it deserve the help which it requires. I am quite sure that the way in which you are working entitles your college to help. I cannot but hope that in due course the government as well as the charitable minded people will come forward from the necessary help and remove the difficulties you are now experiencing. I am aware there are not many institutions for imparting education of this kind in the country. If there is one central institution at Delhi, it naturally attracts students from all parts of the country. This college is therefore not looked upon as a local institution of Delhi. Even though this college is affiliated to the Delhi University, it has an importance of its own because of its peculiarities and deserves help not only from people whose children are receiving education in it but also from others. I therefore commend this college to the charitable minded people as also to the government so that it may be able to fulfill the trust put on it. The students must feel that their responsibilities is all the greater if they succeed in rising to the expectations, the college will draw a large number of students and get more appreciation from the people. They have, therefore, to justify their merit in the college as well as outside it. Once again, I offer to them my congratulations and thanks. Dear sirs, we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th November, which sets out the terms upon which your party is prepared to withdraw his defense and consent to judgment being passed against him in this case. We are sending a copy of your letter to our party. We shall let you hear 
as soon as we receive his instructions. Meanwhile, however, we would point out that in one or two respects, <coughs> your present proposals do not agree with those which you mentioned to us at our interview a few days ago and which as already as by us our party would probably will dispose to entertain. In the first place, the amount mentioned by you as the damages which your party is willing to pay is considerably smaller than the amount proposed at the interview. Secondly, instead of deferring to pay it in two installments after the date of the judgment, you know, suggest that payment should be made in our installments extended over a full year. Thirdly, you mentioned payment of the costs of our party without adding that these are to be costs as between solicitor and the party and not merely the cause of our party. We presume that you intend the former. If our party is to compromise, we are sure that he will require to be freedom, freed to all liability as to cause. Please reply to these points early. Speaking on the occasion of the inauguration of the work of the Committee on Educational Reforms in Mysore, the Chief Minister Sri Hanumandaya said, We have gathered here today to a great service to the country. It is reform, therefore, of educational system, even the country which is overdue. It has been discussed much for long. A great deal of thought has been bestowed on it. It is agreed on all hands that the present system of education is in my present perspective defective. It is more mechanical than purposeful. It makes students learn but do little. The training it gives makes them mostly aspire for government service. It is said that the